If you're looking to build the best possible 100 to 250k hybrid with Otsune in war record breaker card, you came to the perfect video. I'm your boy Viva La FIFA. Sit back, relax, and watch the video that will get you win after win. Are you tired of losing every single game in FIFA against God Squads and you don't have any coins or FIFA points? Don't worry, head over to u7buy.com. Use the code Viva for an extra 5% off your offer and get the best place for your FUD coins. Actually defeat all those teams you never could before. We are starting the video off with a cool team on the bench. If you like to upgrade this squad, you can do this with other hybrid leagues. For example, to the Bundesliga, Neuer, Upa Meccano and Alfonso Davies alongside Leon Goretzka. Those players will cost you a, a, a 400k, those four players alone. So you can upgrade this squad with that team. Going to the Serie A with Denzel Dumfries, one to watch. Then we have also road to the final Vidal, Barella and Lozano. Great team as well to use down the left hand or right hand side. That's up to you. For the Premier League, I have Angolo Kante, Paul Pogba, Pulisic and also Usmane Dembele is a great super substitution. So those players Players, those links can be used in the starting 11 if you want to replace the left or right hand side and the coach of this team it's nobody less than the dad of Harry Potter kicking it off with the goalkeepers guys and I will tell you how to keep this team within 100k and to spend 250k you can go for Navas for the cheap version or you can upgrade that with this man himself, John Luigi Donnarumma, 250k hybrid. If you go for the most expensive players I show you, 100k if you go for the cheaper solutions. Donnarumma is slightly better than Navas. That's the only reason I go for him because I don't have to look to my coins. There are plenty of them and Navas is a great goalkeeper. Donnarumma is a little bit better. His reflexes, his reach... His diving, it's all top-notch. He's one of the most used goalkeepers, and that is also why his price range is still around 30,000 coins. Even now in January, he's still very expensive because he's just very good. One of the best central backs I used so far is Marquinhos. 20,000 coins for Marquinhos. Do you want to cheapen this up? Kim Pempe, 6,000 coins is a cheaper solution. Once again, people that click through the end of the video, you will find them in the comment section. Tell me, Viva, this team is way too expensive. Well, because because you didn't listen. If you're listening, great job. Because then I'm not showing you one squad builder, but actually two or three squads combined in one video. And that is what I like so much about it. So Donnarumma, perfect link with Marquinhos. With a shadow card, Marquinhos is pimped to a 90 plus rated center back. What else do you desire? Top speed, he's got it. Positioning, he's got it. Tackling, standing and sliding. He's got it. Marquinhos, what a man. Then we're finishing off the combination of Paris Saint-Germain with Ashraf Hakimi. If you have more coins to spend, you could spend it on special cards of Hakimi. But once again, with a shadow card, Hakimi is unstoppable. 99 speed, acceleration, sprint speed, it's all there. So that is great. He can play against Neymar, Mbappé and not get outrun with his sprint speed. Great player. Also on the ball, amazing technical ability. So for me, Hakimi is great staying back counter-attacking, but also in the passing game, he will never disappoint you. So then, the Tridente, Donnarumma, Marquinhos, Hakimi, if you use them, you will spend around 50k. If you go for Navas, Kimpempe, and Hakimi, you will spend around 20k, 25k maybe. So it's up to you what you will choose. Well, let's over to the left hand side. The next player is very important. If you want to get full chemistry on this team, buy Jules Kunde. Special card, fire, ice, or just a normal gold card. That's up to your budget. I am going for Rafa Arvrana, but he will stay on 7th chemistry. Do I mind? I don't mind. Verona is very good. Even with 7 chemistry on him, he's super quick, very strong, great in the air, good agility, the perfect central back to use. So once again, Jules Kunde will never let you down. Also very usable in the squad down the left hand side because it will be a French overkill on the left hand side, starting off with Rafa Alvarone. Can you believe that Ferlo Mendy with a shadow card on the market only costs you 10,000 coins? Yes, guys, you don't have to spend a lot of coins to have a great team this FIFA. That's the good news for you. For example, last year, Mendy was over 50 to 70k around January. The market was blown up because everybody got around 200, 300, 400,000 coins at the start qualifying for the division rivals. So the inflation was huge. Now, it's not like that. So the rewards you get for division rivals, etc., it's worth so much more than last year. For example, if you got 50 
50k in your rewards last year, you could only buy Mendy. Now you can buy Mendy, Marquinhos, Donnarumma, and Hakimi, for example, for that money. So an 83 rated left back with a shadow card will go up to 86, 87. Mendy has speed, dribbling, tackling, positioning. He's just a perfect cheap left back for me. Going to the two CDMs, and yes, guys, once again, if you want to get this team to 250k, you will go for Headliner Savigny. It rhymes, and it's true. If you want to keep it under there, you can go for the first or second inform card for Savigny on the market for around 30,000 coins. So it depends on what you like. Once again, if you're listening to my squad builders, you're doing the right job. I'm not only telling you what players to buy, I'm also telling you how to upgrade or downgrade in the price. Plus Plus, the player instructions and the team instructions that are just as important to make this team successful. Savigny is almost a Root Gullet Gang member, but with an upgrade, he's a 90 plus rated center mid, a Root Gullet Gang member for sure, and with that notice, the price around 80,000 coins you pay for headliner Savigny doesn't feel like too much. He's just bloody worth it. My right CDM is Casemiro Rule Breaker. Even with a shadow card, his speed is still his liability. It goes up to 73 or 74 acceleration and around 80 sprint speed. That's not bad if you imagine that Casemiro, his positioning and tackling is superb. He will be great if you like to play the counter-attacking game where you don't leave a lot of room for speed. Casemiro is the perfect CDM. He's the glue between the defensive line and the midfield. Plus, his cutting pass lanes, his positioning, and his tackling will get so many dangerous moves away from your center backs before they even have to take action. So that's the reason why I put Casemiro in there. Plus, I need him for a perfect link. On the right hand side, if you did squad building challenge Lucas Vasquez or Marco Asensio, go for them. If you have the money, go for team of the group stage Rodrigo. I'm keeping this cheap with normal card Rodrigo in January FIFA. Yes, in January. Because this man is still a good looking card. With a hunter card, he feels quick. He feels like Usmani Dembele. You can go for Usmani Dembele, but then Casimiro will be out of full chemistry. So so if you like Dembele more, you can use him, but then Casemiro will drop down to 7 chemistry. Is that something you desire? My answer will be no. So once again, it's time to upgrade or downgrade according to your budget. On the left hand side, once again, a choice for you to make. 100k, get normal Bamba. 100 50, 250k squad builder, go for Rule Breaker Bamba. It's a big difference because the Rule Breaker Bamba for me feels like a hidden gem. Not a lot of people are using him, but he is so quick, so strong, so good in his finishing. 86 rated with a Hunter card, a Sniper card. You will pimp him up to 90 and then he feels like Neymar Jr. in the best days of his career. So Bamba might be unknown, but not unloved. On the right hand side, you have several solutions. If if you don't have squad building challenge Nabil Fakir, I hope you got him because with Awar, he's one of the best SBCs you could have done this year. You can go for Karim Benzema, whatever card you like, for example, or mixing it up with another Real Madrid player. But I think that Benzema is the best solution. Jose Morales, his, his headliner card, or uh, not headliner, uh, the winter wild card of Jose Morales is also great to use, but you won't get full chemistry. So Nabil Fakir or Karim Benzema, all the solutions to go for. Benzema is more a full what a center forward, like using him as a target man, but Nabil Fakir, he's so quick, 99 acceleration, you can also make him get in behind. I use this card all the time in my squad building challenges because he is just still one of the best. And then, the man that got the thumbnail for him, Atsone Iduar, around 100k to do a squad building challenge. Is he worth it? My answer will be yes, he's worth it. If you imagine that Awar, Fakir and Otsone Eduard, the squad building challenges all together could have cost you 300k, for example, and Golo Kante at the start of this game was 300k. So are they worth it? Yes, they're worth it. You can make Otsone Eduard get in behind. He has the speed for that. He has a good power shot, a good finesse shot, good dribbling, amazing speed to stay with the center backs that have 90 plus speed as well. So for me, Otsone Eduard of Crystal Palace is finishing the sublime team off with 
with a great looking card. So do you want to do the squad building challenge? You can watch the link in the comment section and also just put SBC, cheapest way possible for Otsuna in the war. And many of my favorite YouTubers will show you how to get this card as cheap as possible. I did it in the same way. So guys, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. But now we're going to the most important part, the player instructions and the team instructions. For this team, we're going for a balanced defensive style. I'm not dropping back way too much. Just keep it balanced. You can play with it, guys. It depends on what you like. Dropping back, putting pressure on a hard touch. You can do that, but I'm keeping it balanced. The width and the depth, putting it back to 45. For me, that feels okay because you want the outside wingers not to be too way outside because you want to get them to defend with your team, to cut the passing lanes to the strikers after the opposition. Then, slow build to play, possession game, Players in the box, put it in the middle, and the width 45, also okay, because you need that for the players, the wingers to cut inside, and, and that's the important part, guys. Now we're going to the player instructions. For the goalkeeper, it's quite easy. Donnarumma, come for crosses, and be a sweeper keeper. Easy as kissing. Center backs, full backs, stay back all the time. There's two CDMs, stay back all the time, cutting the passing lanes, covering the wing, that's fine. Left wing, right wing, get in behind cut inside and get into that penalty box you have four attacking players and six defensive players in this squad to use then we have Nabil Fakir you can make him play as a false number nine or get in behind it depends on you and as soon as it war get in behind all the time and stay forward as well because with that you can launch counter-attack after counter-attack and the way I scored many goals with this squad was quite easy you have the ball from the back from Marquinhos for example you're looking to get Casimiro onto the ball from Casimiro Miro, play it down the wing or through the middle. It depends on whatever your opponent does. If they, if they put somebody across Rodrigo or the left wing Bamba, you can play it instantly to the strikers and with them, try double touches, one twos all the time. They are so hard to defend because Fakir and Atsone Eduard have the pure speed to make them be a pain in the ass. And that is what I did all the time, making double touches, double touches, double touches and some moment the center backs will mix him up. And then that's the moment to put a through ball in there and then Nabil Fakir and Edouard are deadly in front of goal. So the outside wingers, you actually use them to lure the opposition to the outside of the pitch to get the center backs in a one-to-one -one position with your strikers. If you can do that, if that's the opposition is going for that trick, you win every single match because the strikers are way too quick for any center backs they will face. So guys, try the team, try Atso and Edouard. Did you get him already? What is your experience with him? Same as mine or disappointed? Let me know it in the comment section down below. If you loved the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more and put on the notification bell. Click the i button for more squad builders, more transfer rumors. You love the channel, trust me. <laughs>